Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be opening here two of the starter decks, uh, number 9 and 10. So this is Ultimate Ancient Dragon and Paralleled World Tactician. This is definitely very interesting because with the first six starter decks, it was all uh, very specific in the fact that you actually got one booster pack that was accompanied by uh, that particular starter deck. So uh, for example, the first three would have given us the first booster set, but then by the time we got to the third, the fourth, fifth and sixth starter decks, we actually got uh, booster set four. But the thing is this, when uh, starter decks seven and eight came out, the crazy thing is that they didn't include starter, de uh, starter packs in there, or at least booster packs that is. But the difference is you actually got like more SRs. So I'm keen to know what they actually do with this particular one here. Are we actually just getting more SRs like before? Because it has no mention of it, but maybe that's just a one-time thing to let us know. Uh, but nevertheless, it's going to be interesting to open this up here. Obviously, you can see that the artwork is a little bit more different. So that definitely does say something. Now, one thing I do know is that uh, these cards here, or at least the new boss monsters, if you could call it that, uh, they are actually split into two colors. Um, I still really don't know how I feel about that, but I guess uh, we'll just have to find out. But So I figured I may as well open up the current latest ones and see what it's all about. Uh, because, you know, we gotta obviously try to keep up with the actual format itself. Uh, keeping up with the meta, that is. So with that being said, you just gotta play with the top decks that you possibly can here. And in this case, uh, these would be the more recent decks that uh, would be worth keeping an eye out for. So with that being said, uh, let's just see what's actually in there. Alright, so taking this out, we can see that inside there's nothing else. But we get over here our deck. So no booster pack like uh, before. Um, so that definitely does say something, but that's fine because it depends on what's actually in here that makes it more uh, worthwhile. So let's just find out what we have in here. And mind you, this one is also uh, the same price as a uh, set or as a starter set or starter deck uh, seven and eight. So it is more on that pricier side. And you know, the interesting thing I found about these particular starter decks is that. Uh, these particular two new ones here are oddly more pricey than ever. Uh, they've actually been marked up by a lot of stores as well, which is uh, pretty insane. So what I mean by this is you're not going to find it at retail price. You will actually find these at most card stores for well above that amount. So if you are lucky enough to get it for retail, definitely get it now. Uh, I think that goes to show that uh, this particular starter deck is definitely going to play some sort of major significance in uh, the format that it's that important for uh, the card stores to actually mark up their prices. So that's crazy. And that's the thing is like, when you look at all of the other starter decks prior to that, uh, they don't actually have markups. So you know, you'd think that the one that's most available, the newest ones, uh, would be uh, the ones that are sold at retail, but no, it's not, so that's going to be very interesting to see. But uh, with that being said, the first one here we have is uh, Minomon, so it should be a mix of uh, blue and green, yep. So there we are, we have Vmon here. Very nice to see Vmon up here again because it was, it had its own starter deck, so very interesting to see. Uh, we have Betamon, uh, we have XVmon, so obviously that's interesting, and you can see it's mixed with two colors as well, so that's really cool. Um, but of course, we move on here, we have Paeldramon, uh, this here is our first foil, so we only get two copies of it, but that's fine. And then we have over here our boss monster, which is uh, Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. So this is definitely very interesting here. Uh, seems to be an alternate evolution to Vdramon, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, but yeah, this is essentially our boss monster for the deck. Uh, just really cool here to see. So yeah, definitely very nice. I mean, can't complain about that. 
Uh, but yeah, you obviously want to get two copies of the starter deck to get uh, at least the place out of everything. So it seems like that's like the main core line, uh, because right here we now have uh, something different. So we have Ko Kabuterimon, uh, which is back to grade 3 or level 3 again. We have here Wormmon. We have over here Stingmon as our level 4. We have uh, Snymon. Two copies only, wow. Uh, Dino Beamon, which, wow, this looks really interesting. So we have DNA Digivolution to something uh, new here that we have to keep an eye out for. But as you can see, it's mixed in colors in half. So it's just something that I always felt seemed a bit odd. But, uh, you know, I guess that's what it is. Uh, we have Dual Beamon. We have over here Grand Coagamon. Uh, very interesting. Um, and then over here we have Megadeth, which surprisingly is a foil. Wow, for an option card, didn't expect that. Uh, we have Hell Masquerade, four copies of those. We have Flower Cannon. Uh, the weird thing, oh wow, this is actually a foil as well. Um, the weird thing is that we didn't get any Tamers, which I found to be really odd. But I guess you don't really need to have Tamers in every deck. And we have this here as well, which is definitely just really awesome. I absolutely love this. I mean, it's it's definitely really well made, these things. So yeah, really cool there. And a set of rules. So this is definitely really different to the um, starter decks 7 and 8. Because we also got that additional set of foils as well, which was supporting... Uh, the memory boost for every single color but this one we don't get that bonus so again really weird that it's like that but something tells me that imperial dramon is going to be a very powerful uh, deck to play if you were to actually build it but let's move on now to the uh master the uh what was that parallel world tactician deck so this is Nyaramon. Then we have Salomon here, which is mixed two colors. Very nice, very versatile, so it's definitely great. We have here Lotmon. Uh, we have Garamon as a mixed. Um, so as you can see, it does split open like that. But we only have two copies of those. And then we have here Angel Woman. Wow, very nice. And we actually get four copies of her as well, so that's wonderful. But we have over here uh, Mastermon. Definitely fantastic, of course. Yeah, that, that looks really amazing. We had two copies of these, so we definitely uh, have to get another starter deck just to get a playset. But uh, for the other level threes, we have Ghostmon, we have uh, Sakaimon, and for level fours, we have uh, Witchmon, four copies of those, Wizardmon, which is mixed colors. Uh, we have here Bastamon, and wow, look at that, Foil Lady Devimon. I mean, that is just uh, magnificent. That's absolutely beautiful, stunning. And we have over here Junomon, and just four copies of those. And we have here Chaos Degradation, which two copies of these are foils. We have Darkness Wave, very nice. And we have Night Raid here, which is also very nice. Uh, not in foil, but we also get these two here as well, our memory counter. Uh, Definitely fantastic. I love how one side is Angel Woman and another side is Devi Woman or uh, Lady Devi Mon. Definitely wonderful. Uh, and of course, the rules as well as to how to play. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely really interesting. Definitely love uh, both these decks. Really excited for sure. Um, I found it a bit odd, so definitely let me know what you guys actually think about this. I have a feeling that this is definitely significantly stronger than all of the past starter decks uh, that have actually come out. Um, it just seems like there's uh, so much more significance to them. Uh, being that they're so much more versatile, having two colors, so it makes it really easy to digivolve because... Uh, it essentially means even if you have a green, you could evolve into Vmon, which is a blue. Um, or you could still evolve from a blue uh, prior uh, Digivolution card. So it's definitely very interesting here. I'm very keen to actually try out both these decks, but I have a feeling that I definitely have to get a second copy of each one. But uh, with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you all next time.